Okay, so I actually have decided to cut the um, the section entirely because of some issues I was having with it. So we're just gonna place it with a normal grassy section probably. So let's see. Uh, let's make it an audience sharing it on. So I'm gonna grab a model from Toad Circuit. Hold on. Let's open this. I think that has all of it. Okay. Okay, so we got this right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Delete those. Okay. We got these. So we got this. Scale it down. Do this. We got a wall right here. Okay, so we got this. Simajet. No. Okay. We're trying to find the texture, so um T C gallery? No, it's just the Use this one. Hmm.
try that. Ugh. Okay, let's try this. One more. Let's try project from view. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> okay, I actually don't know why it's doing this now, so. I think I might need it to be like that. Okay, we got that. That is a weird UV map. That is strange. Who cares? Sorry for the weird UV map. I, I'm not very good at this stuff. But we got this right here. Uh, hold on. Okay, we got it. So now we have the boost panels right here. And <laughs> the whole house has been destroyed into, so let's delete that one house. So we got that. And now I think we finished the model, basically. So we got it all good. And now we can uh, make the shadow. Well, we're not gonna make shadow maps technically. We're gonna use vertex colors. I'm gonna raise this. It won't look so bright when we do the image though. Got it. Okay, now we can combine these and make vertex colors, basically. So, join these objects. Just don't question the UV map. That's for testing. Uh, I was doing some vertex coloring testing earlier, so but now I'm gonna actually make actual good ones now. So we've got it right here. Let's move the vertex colors out. Let's break them up and then bam. Actually, let's put them a little lower. I think that's good. So now we gotta scale the track. So I. 
what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna open this new folder. We're gonna call it Toad Circuit. This is the track that we're replacing. Uh, close this for now. So we're gonna, I already have it open. So let's export it into Toad Circuit. And then we're gonna open the tool Spicer. This is what I was looking at earlier. So we're gonna Not to blur that out after a little while, but okay. So we'll blur that out in a second because I I still have the name on there. So okay. Now we need to use FBX converter. This is one tool I didn't list. I didn't think I need it, but now I realize I do need it. So now we have to scale this track up a little bit so I can fit in the Toad Circuit. So we got is that the full track? No, that's not it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's see my track. Let's scale in the size of the toad circuit roll. A road, roll, not rule. Okay. I should probably export the textures really quick. Quickly, actually, now. Scale it down a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. So we're going to delete. All of this. And now we got the sun, which is the object to use for lighting, like in right here, and the track. So we're gonna file, export FBX as Toad Circuit. Track. And this is, okay, so we finished our model. Congrats. Now let's move on to the next section.